As you can tell, we're in Chaplow Lodge today and just enjoying a morning coffee. Uh, we've been here since Friday. Uh, Friday was a really nice day. Saturday was great, but it rained on and off the whole time. We were videotaping uh, Carl's fishing show. So uh, we luckily we were wearing rain gear. We we're all prepared for it. But this place is beautiful. Uh, and then Sunday, so it's right now it's Monday. Uh, Sunday we did some more fishing stuff, but it was so windy. I couldn't fly the drone. It's too windy. I just tried to try to. I just tried to fly the drone right now. Uh, but apparently there's an airport very close by, and so my drone told me. You can't take off here. Uh, so good morning, by the way, once again. Ah, this place is amazing. If you're ever thinking about going on a fishing trip or just a trip with your family, this place is great. Uh, they have an American plan and American plans at lodges in uh, Ontario uh, basically are, has a meal plan and they have like a couple meal plans and uh, so they feed you very, very well here. Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner. They had made amazing breakfasts. Uh, they had awesome lunches with soup and sandwiches. Last night, they gave us uh, uh, like a turkey dinner, so it felt like Thanksgiving, and it's just a beautiful spread of food. We had a salad, which was uh, cucumber salad, and as you guys know, I don't like cucumbers whatsoever, but the way they did it, and it was given to me. I ate it <laughs> to be super respectful, and uh, I actually enjoyed it. Um, not my favorite salad, but uh, it was this big, huge, thick-cut cucumbers in like a cream sauce or whatever, and the cream sauce helped take that edge off the uh, flavors of cucumbers, which I don't like. Uh, so let me just take you around. Uh, the guy who owns this, his name's John. He's uh, just. If there's a certain certification you need to be a certain kind of scuba diver, uh, he's got them all. He's got, he's the highest ranked type scuba diver in the world. Uh, he used to work in the bottom of the North Atlantic at 700 feet for like 28 days straight. Uh, they'd have like, um, I guess so many hundreds of feet down, they'd have like a room that's where the guys would stay uh, and then they would do 12 hour shifts at the bottom of the ocean welding or whatever so that's how amazing of a scuba diver he is and uh, so this is his lodge he decided to buy a lodge up here in Chaplow so that's the main lodge that's one of the cabins that you can rent he's got multiple cabins on the property uh, down here is a bunch of people training for scuba diving uh, yesterday they actually were pumping hot water through the suit and just giving people experience uh, all these students experience with that kind of scuba diving where you're in very very cold water but you're having hot water pumped down to you into your suit and uh, so that's what they were doing yesterday they're not doing that today I'm not sure what they're doing today but uh, yeah, it looks like they're having a lot of fun. They do the full suits with, uh, you know, that special full-on helmet so that you can actually communicate. And uh, so it's not a regulator and a mask. It's just a full helmet, full dry suit or wet suit with the hot water flowing through it. Uh, this is a, a path to another cabin. That's, a, that's probably one of the nicest cabins on the property. But uh, they'll rent you boats, motors, gas, uh, to go fishing. Let me just take you on a little tour. This is a very nice gathering area. This is where I grab my coffee. I'm gonna have coffee in the morning. So like I said, that's the main cabin. Uh, yesterday, I was blessed. <laughs> so it was first thing in the morning, the sun's rising. I'm standing over here. If you follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff, you would have seen the picture of the fox. And uh, so I was standing over here, videotaping the sunrise, and then I hear this like pitter-patter, and there have been a couple dogs up here, 
uh, in the last couple of days since we've been here. Very, very tame, very friendly dogs. And so I'm sitting here videotaping with my cell phone and I hear this like clip, 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 like as if a dog's coming up to me. So I just kind of like turn and it's a fox and he's standing right there looking at me and I've never seen a fox that close, that friendly. But he's probably like a year, uh, the owner of the lodge, John, he says he's probably like a year, maybe two years old. Um, but then he kind of like scampered off that way and then I'm like, that's crazy. I'm like, well, I, did I videotaped him, but I didn't get a photograph. So I'm like, oh crap. So I switched my phone over to photos and then I call him. I'm just like, here. And then he actually came running back to me. And then he stood here and I got a bunch of really awesome photos. And then he kind of scampered off again. Then he sat down and he let me get really close to him to take a picture. And that's when he did that really nice handsome look. Uh, and then John came out and took some pictures. Carl was in uh, eating breakfast. Uh, and I uh, had to like yell to him and then he took a picture of me taking a picture of the of the fox which is cool so these are all the smaller cabins I think there's eight of them along here and then he's got more buildings uh, over there uh, so if, if you want to spend a little bit more money then you can rent like a full-on cabin it's kind of like the one I just showed you over there so it's probably like a cookie cutter of that but he's got multiple all along the shore. Uh, for those people that just want to be by themselves over there, whatever, uh, as opposed to like the motel types. Yeah. He's practicing with the radio, I guess. Getting the equipment all up to spec. It's very, very nice here. Uh, it's one of the bigger lakes, one of the deeper lakes. Apparently this is one of the last lakes to lose its ice in the spring. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of the depth or the size or whatever, but uh, beautiful place. Uh, we caught, uh, well Carl caught bass on the first day, one walleye, and then yesterday he caught all walleye, a couple bass, a pike, and uh, I think we just kept three of the walleye and we gave it to the owner. Uh, he appreciated that. Uh, they're waiting for the liner for the pool. The other liner uh, wore out, so they bought a new one, but they're just waiting for the new liner. And of course, you're not gonna put it in when nobody can use it because of COVID and all that. So he's just gonna wait till next year uh, for them to replace that and, and get the pool up and running. But uh, I'll take you on a little tour of the inside. Again, it's very, very nice. Um, today we are packing up and leaving to our next destination, which is in Wawa. One of the guys working on the scuba diving stuff. This is the, the mode of transportation. <laughs> Choice of mode. There's Carl down there. So this is the back door. This is the front door. Chaplo Lodge. This is uh, probably one of the, the nicer lodges that I've been to. Some of them are kind of old. Some of them are a little bit more modern and new. This is, uh, let's see if I can open it with a copy of my hand. So this is the main lodge. This is your registration and, and stuff. And hand sanitizer, you can check in. This is one of the old style helmets. That's the kind of fish you can get in this lake. White fish. I think that's either, some people call it a pumpkin seed, bluegill, sunfish. And that's a walleye, for those of you who don't know. Wonderful tasting fish. Uh, the other night I came in here and all the seats were taken up and they were watching a uh, 40 year old virgin. Uh, he's got the old Atari system. Very, very cool. I guess they watched uh, Predator, Alien vs. Predator last night. Uh, lots of books to read, nice little fireplace, and that would be a um, pike. You don't want to put your mouth in that kind of a fish's mouth. It's all razor blade teeth. Uh, yeah, 
So you can sit in here and play games, socialize, foosball. And then this is the eating area. This is where we had all of our wonderful meals. And the washrooms are over there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our little tour of the Shaplow Lodge. Let's see if we can get out. <clears throat> so like I said, this is like the motel part. Of course, you got the beer bottles. <laughs> Carl's packing up. So uh, yesterday they were building, over the last couple of days, they've been building this contraption. So I asked them what they're building. And this is basically a decompression um, I guess they lower this down to a certain depth so when the students are down really far for a very long time they need to decompress and this is just that's, that's so cool how they carved a scuba diver out of that metal but uh, yeah so this is gonna have extra couple tanks on it they're gonna make this into like an air pocket so the guys can like take their helmet off I guess underwater skills and those are going to be little windows uh, but somebody will be down at a certain depth they need to come up and decompress so they have to sit here for a certain amount of time depending on how long they're at the bottom uh, but they need to decompress here so they're again they're welding that up over the last couple of days and then painted it looks great all right guys so uh, that is your little tour of Chapleau Lodge up here in Northern Ontario. And uh, yeah, if you ever decide to go to a fishing lodge, this is definitely a good one to come to.